All right, we are going to do a fun little test today. And we got the second gen micro, and we got the new micro dredge pattern. And we got two buddies. And I got <clears throat> three ounces of gold. That's gonna weigh more than three ounces, of course, with the, the um, uh, jar. But if we were to zoom in on that, I guess it's three, three and a half ounces, but it's just mostly the jar. I'm gonna wet this down. And I'm gonna run this through here, and we're just gonna do a fun, quick test. We're going to see how good the capture rate is on our second gen micro with three ounces of gold and just see what happens and see our little pile down below and say that's what it can do. And then we'll actually put that mat in there so it's the same machine, same everything, nothing's different, and we'll do it again. All right, so I'm going to get this wet with a little bit of water. Let it soak in. Gold. So it in and out. So it's nice and wet. We don't want to put it in there dry because it would just float away. Because this gold actually is <coughs> dropped through a, 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 a drop through a 50 mesh screen, and and it has a 100 mesh screen. So it's it's 50 to above 100. That's what this gold is. Yeah, well, there we go. We got it adjusted. Even got brought in some more light so that we can see what's going on. <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and we are going to zoom in on this guy and we are going to introduce some gold. Look a little bit closer. Um, yeah. So we got this cleanup buddy and that's the end. So, and there's the top. And we are going to introduce some of this fine gold pixie dust. Well, it's above 100, around 50, so we are going to introduce this. Oh, let's talk about a little tip I have here. A lot of people say, you know, we got to hit this with a brush to get the bubbles out. That kind of goes for some other people's uh, products that they use out there. See, there's a bubble here, bubble here. I just put my finger over it. One of the things I like doing get the bubbles out now the bubbles are gone is for example you can see that this mat is wet I'll turn it on turn it off the water settles into it the bubbles rise to the surface when you just turn it on and leave it on the bubbles stay because of the surface tension and the water pressure moving over it but once you turn it off once and get the mat wet the water runs off and then the bubbles pop and so you have less bubbles to deal with when you turn it on again because all the little cells are full of water so the brush thing it's not like it's trying to capture the bubbles as much as the older technologies do all right now let's get back to putting the, the gold in. yeah 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 so this is not going to be a scientific experiment i'm not going to do like a free break i'm just going to put it in best i can with that i'll try and keep track of maybe some sense in it so We'll just squirt a little gold at a time. Now, this is three ounces of gold, so we're going to see how, you know, a lot of people say, you know, how much gold can it hold? You know, and so we're just going to kind of be, be a little smart about it. We're not going to dump it all right in the middle, so we're going to go back and forth. Get a little squirter. About halfway down the mat now, about like a quarter of the quarter of the material out of there halfway down the mat. We were doing a, a cleanup, uh, well I wasn't. I had a minor friend of mine doing a cleanup, Bob, and he put six and a half ounces on the um, uh, the the new dredge pattern and showed it to us. And then we put some posts out there, you know, and that was pretty accepted. And then um uh, then he had uh did a uh, um, a cleanup and he put 12, over 12 ounces on it and some people were kind of like yeah I don't know if I'm buying that and then when I talked to Bob about it I go so you know get some good pictures get some good stuff where are we at you know and he goes he, he said he wanted to be the first person to um uh 
to do um uh, uh there. Do do 20 ounces on the mat and get it on there. So we'll see. It's not like sucking up good. I'm gonna have to get a yeah, I'll get another one. It's not like that. It's like cold in the water. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Cheap. All right, so there we are. We got basically three ounces of gold. We ran into it, <clears throat> and we're gonna look at what's built out into the pan below. And we'll zoom out. So we got this little pan below. We still had a little bit of spillage of some gold before he put Tim put the pan in there. He was watching me do some stuff. But so here we go. This is what came out of it after running three ounces into the buddy. Here's our gold. And I could put that. Actually, I'm going to put that in the vial and set the vial on there just to see how much the weight is. But let's go ahead and zoom in on the buddy and look at the gold in it. So there's the gold, cheesed out in the new second gen. Now we're going to put all that back in that little vial, do it again. We will drop it through the new micro threads. First, we'll see what we lost. And then I'm going uh, to take a quick look at that. All right, here we go again. We're going to go ahead and put our wonderful little three ounces in here. What we had with leftovers was 0.56 ounces. Bump the stand there. Can I get shaky? So that's what we spit out of this was... A little over half an ounce so we caught basically two and a half ounces in that run just for fun does it mean anything nope we're just having a little fun we're just going to show the difference of the capture rate from the second gen to the micro dredge and see if there's a difference all right let's get a little bit of a zoom up on this guy um yeah let's slide this guy down just a little bit is there any air bubbles there actually isn't oh there's one right down there on the side. Doing good. Alright. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add a little juice to this guy. And we're going to see if we're going to get more um, uh, holding capacity out of our um, uh, dredge. Uh, Micro. Boy, it looks like it looks like we are, guys. What do you think? Um, I'm getting close to the end here. And before we were all the way down the mat, and we're like halfway right now. Well, we're a little more than halfway. I'm dumping it actually in there faster. I don't know why. Maybe it's confidence. I don't know. Who knows? Ah. Right the end of the Slash a little up here. Every little bit counts when you're in flowers, man. Alright, there we are. So there's the difference. 
So it looks like, and I, and I went way faster. So maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I don't time me. I don't know. I don't care. Um, so let's go ahead and unplug it. Let's see what we lost. <clears throat> that beat rate be on this up. There's just no way it's catching it all. So let's zoom out. Here's our little catch pan. So, sorry, I'm probably not turning in the direction I need to. Are we seeing what we lost? All right, so I don't think that's a half ounce this time. So, we're gonna Put that in a little, a little bottle, the little vial thing. If I do it, I'm going to eat it a lot. It actually works really good. We had like a few pixie flakes blow out because the dust is so fine, of course. Don't got much soap in here. I put a, like, just a dab on the end of my finger because I don't like the suds. I want to be able to see. And I want to see, be able to see what if people were using water out there in the field, imagining what it would look like. Up off our water. This is a, a really just goofy weed test because it's wet and everything, but it just gets you in the zone. And we got basically 0.1 ounce, but if I went to the different units, or I went to grams, oops, I went past grain to gram, I start over. We got half a gram, including the metal. Okay, so I'm gonna goof off, I mean the bottle. So I'm gonna goof off, and I'm going to, I'm switch out the gold. And I'm gonna weigh the container, and how much does it weigh? Okay, the, oh, so let's say the container weighs five grams. Is that grains? Well, there's grains. Five grams. The container weighs five grams. Okay, now let's put the gold back in it. Get the water out. Five point three eight, so point three eight wet grams is what we lost out of three ounces. So we're seeing some pretty good holding capacity with this fine gold. So that's just for fun. It's all just light and easy, no big scientific test. Ooh, you know. Come on.